I have a beautiful kitchen to show you guys today and I remembered to take before footage. You guys, this is technically my first before and after and I cannot wait to show you. This kitchen is beautiful and it's functional and it is tailored to suit this family needs. Come on, let's take a look. When the homeowners purchased this home, the only room they really wanted to address was the kitchen. It needed a little bit of updating. They wanted to look at the layout and the function as well as the aesthetic. Okay, before we dive in today, guys, take a second and hit subscribe. And while you're at it, tap that bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. I post a new design video every Thursday. So we called in Les Anderson Construction, I've talked about him before, an incredible local contractor here in the greater Toronto Hamilton area, and him and his team did a fantastic job putting together all of the pieces to make this kitchen so beautiful. The old layout didn't really work well for the homeowner who is a foodie and loves to cook. So we wanted to make sure that there was ample counter space on either side of the stove. So that was really one of the biggest changes that we made to this kitchen is we removed the fridge and we provided equal counter space on both sides of the stove by centering the stove on the far wall. Ikea has lots of really great options to customize kitchens. One of the things that we did was put this pull out drawer next to the stove and this is a really great place to put oil and vinegar and spices and things that you want accessible right when you're standing at the stove cooking and it really comes at an affordable price point. We also added some really large pot drawers on the right side of the stove. This is for all of the things that you need to have right near the stove, right? Your pots and pans and bowls and colanders and all of the things that you want to have right at your fingertips. Having pot drawers right next to the stove was really a great idea. The homeowners really wanted a pantry in their new home. So when we relocated the fridge, there was just the right amount of space beside the new location of the fridge to put in an Ikea pantry. And this is great. It is large enough to hold all of the family's needs for their pantry items. And also it fits in the space really, really well. One of the things to consider when designing your new kitchen space is to really think about your personal family and your lifestyle and the way you're gonna use your space. So even though a lot of people right now would wanna tear down walls and open things right up, this family knew that they wanted a little bit more privacy and a little bit less openness when it comes to the way that their kitchen interacts with the rest of the space. So all we did was pull back this small wall over here at the end and allowed them to create a breakfast bar. This is such a fantastic way of opening up the space visually while still maintaining the actual closed in feeling that they wanted to have. They're able to work in the kitchen, do all the things that need to be done in a kitchen without necessarily sitting in the living room and then seeing the aftermath of a wonderful day spent cooking. Okay, we decided to replace some of the upper cupboards over by the sink with open shelves. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of open shelves in a kitchen. They open up a space visually. They allow light to flow through the space a little bit better. In this case, there's a really large window above the kitchen sink. By not having upper cupboards to the left of the kitchen sink, any natural light that's gonna shine through that window will be unobstructed because now there's just a few floating shelves as opposed to a big box hanging on the wall. So we decided to get rid of upper cupboards there as well as over beside the new pantry. Instead of putting more upper cupboards there, we just did more open shelves again in these two locations by putting open shelves. It has also contributed to the feeling of the space being open and spacious and airy even though we kept the main wall in its place. Having previously had a darker kitchen, these homeowners were so ready to embrace a white light space. So we decided to go with white Ikea cupboards and a beautiful white quartz countertop with just a little bit of this gray marbling kind of veining in it, it's beautiful. And then we found this really glossy textured backsplash that has different shades of white and a little bit of grays in, the, in it as well. This creates some visual interest in an all white kitchen as opposed to everything just being stark white. You feel that the overall vibe is really warm and inviting. Another way to bring warmth into a space, and we did it here in this kitchen, is by using warm metals. We use a lot of brass and also a little bit of black detailing and as well as the wooden shelves. Wood always brings warmth into a space and it's such a great idea to do 
when you're doing an all white space unless you're really going for like that really crisp stark white look so by incorporating the metals and the different wood tones and the different textures in the whites that we chose we ended up with a really warm inviting space even though the predominant color used is white a handful of the additional elements we brought into this kitchen were purchased online. Things like light fixtures, brackets for shelves, the range hood, that kind of stuff. Well, coming up next week as part of the Ask Marisa series, I'm answering a question that I was given about how we can order these types of products online confidently. So I hope you'll come back next week and check that out. Overall, we created such a beautiful, welcoming, warm kitchen. And most importantly, not only does it look really great, it really suits the homeowner's needs. I can't stress enough how important it is to really assess how you live, how you use your space, and to design a space that's really gonna work best for your lifestyle and for your family. That is really the most important element of design. So these homeowners, were they knew what they wanted, they were crystal clear with what their objectives were, and that helped pull together not only a, a beautiful space, but also one that they truly are gonna find is extremely functional and works well for their lifestyle. Guys, it's a proper before and after. Oh my goodness. Okay, I would love to hear your thoughts. Come on with me and let's hang out in the comments below.